hook up or hang up. Hey, good morning. It's Cosmo and Lauren. We are the Y107 Morning Show. Indeed we are. Yes. Uh, and thanks to uh, Nick and the whole crew at Silver Ball Arcade Bar Hotline. And um, now a shout out to Shiloh, too. Yeah. Part of the Arcade Bar Hotline Empire. So let's bring uh, James into the show on this hookup or hang up. James, welcome to Y107. Hey, guys. Thanks for having me. Yeah, welcome. So what's the deal? What's what's the latest here with Delaney, man? Yeah, so uh, it's been um, a really long time since I've seen her. Uh, I think it's actually been kind of like a month. And oh, wow. uh, I, I really don't want this to be just like a summer fling. You know, we had a really nice thing going, and I'd love to kind of keep it moving. Okay. So you guys obviously went on a date, right? Did you go on more than one or just one? Oh, yeah, we were on multiple dates, you know, and things were going really great. And then all of a sudden, communication just completely fell off. So completely fell off. So, like, total ghost all of a sudden out of nowhere. Why do you think that she all of a sudden just pulled the plug? And the only thing I can think of is that she just wanted something for the summer. You know, the, the timing and everything is just really kind of suspect. So I'm hoping we can kind of turn that around today, though. Okay. So your your last date. Did anything weird happen? Like the last time that you actually saw her, was there anything strange? Oh, yeah. I mean, tons of stuff, but nothing that was like a deal breaker, you know? <laughs> everything we everything was great. We just we get along surprisingly very well. Okay, so now you, you, you're confusing me a little bit because you went on multiple dates. Like this was like a, like you, you don't want it to be a summer fling, but you guys went out a bunch. So what was the stuff that was concerning? You know, I, I really wish I knew, man. It's just like, I think... The more I think about it, it's because we just came from, like, two different worlds, you know. She's raised in this very white-collar family. My dad's a mechanic. It just seemed like kind of an odd connection, but it really kind of gelled perfectly. Okay, so an opposite to track thing yeah. that, that worked, but then all of a sudden she is completely disappeared. Gonzo. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Hook up or hang up. Presented by Silverball Arcade Bar. With Cosmo and Lauren. Let's call Delaney. Hello? Hi, is this Delaney? Yes, it is. Who's this? Hey, Delaney, it's Lauren and Cosmo. Um, We are from the Y107 Morning Show. Wanted to ask you really quick, would you mind coming on air with us? Um, (laughs) uh, I don't know, because I listen to you guys, so I feel like this is not going to be fun for me. (laughs) Oh, no. Um... Uh, like, are you guys going to put me on hook up or hang up? Is that what's happening here? <laughs> well, I mean, we, yeah, we have to be honest. This is hook up or hang up. That is why we are calling you. Mm-hmm. So is it, is it okay if we, if we record this, if we put it on the air? Uh, yes, it's okay. 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 So then, take so- it. Let's, let's all together take a big deep breath. Say a couple woosahs. I can tell that you are a little tense now, Delaney. <laughs> Woosa. So what's up with what? That, see, 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 see. You're doing great. You're doing it. So tell us your side of the James, of James here. What's what's the deal? I mean, I liked James a lot. Like, you know, um, I've I've not called him back um, in like almost a month. Um, I think to me, it's like it's kind of over. So. Was it, um, uh, were you mm-hmm. just kind of, were, was this just kind of like a summer fling in your mind or? Uh, no, I'm not really a fling type. Um, okay. Yeah, to me, it was the beginning of like a real relationship. So then um, what, so what happened then? Like, all right. So, you know, we were starting to get serious. So he spent the night at my house a couple times. And then the first time I spent the night at his house, he was like, you know, get comfortable. You can wear my clothes, whatever. Um, because it's like kind of an impromptu thing, me going over there. And so yeah. I was looking for like, you know, pajamas and I picked the wrong drawer, I guess. And I found 30 pairs of panties. Huh. Okay. huh. Oh, yeah, oh, that's okay. not. Yeah. Um, so I just, just like, okay, this is like, I got like the sick feeling in my stomach and I was just like, all right, it's not the guy for you. Like, so you, you were, I, I just want to so, clarify, I, I just want to clarify real quick. Like you weren't snooping. You were just going to get like one of his t-shirts. And, no, he was yeah. like, go in my drawers. He told me to go in his drawers. So I don't know, like, if he wanted me to find them. I don't know. I don't know if you should like, say go in your drawers. Maybe he, he wanted found... you to wear them. <laughs> wear Dude, my drawers. I'm just wondering what the hell. Okay. First of all, like, I would never. There were, like, cheap panties, like, cheap thongs and, like, the oh. stuff. And I don't wear that stuff. Like, I wear, like, nice lingerie. Okay. 
So I don't know, like, I don't think they were for, for me. You know what I mean? Like, they didn't seem like they don't, they didn't seem like they were like new either. Oh. Just, like, it was just like, ew. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't want to know. Like, mm. to me, it was just like, okay, no, done. Well, I kind of, oh God. I'm sure that you know that, that James is on the phone, right? Yeah, I mean, I figured, yeah. James, what the hell, dude? Well, they're not mine. Okay, well, that does not make it better. Honestly, it would be better if you were a cross-dresser and, like, you didn't know how to tell me. Like, that I can understand. Like, everyone likes different stuff. And, like, my friend's dad was a cross-dresser and, like, loved her mom. So that's fine. If it was, like, I'd rather it be that. So you're saying they're not yours. They're just, like, all the random hoes you've hooked up with. Whoa. Like, oh, but hold on. that's not good. Sorry, can I not say that? James. Explain the drawer drawers. It's like, you know, when women come over, they sometimes just leave them. So I... I how many women, friends, though? Like, there's like 30, 40 pairs. Like, how many women do you have just coming over? Like, like I've maybe left a pair of panties, like, never. So, like, <laughs> what kind... You know, like, are they... Is it, like, how many years have you been collecting them? It's just weird. It's, it's not anything weird. I just honestly felt weird kind of throwing them away. So I just... Why? Because you think of them as trophies? Oh, come on. No, no, no. It's not like that, okay? I'm not some, like, creepy game hunter with women or something. I I honestly just didn't know what to do with them. Well, like, you should have warned me, like, hey, and there's a bunch of ex-girlfriend's panties in there. There is no good way to say that. James, throw them away, bud. Okay. I mean, I didn't realize that it was going to elicit such a strong reaction, but I I think it's a simple explanation. How do you not realize that it's weird? What if I just had a bunch of jock straps in my drawer? (laughs) Would you like that? I don't know that I would have one opinion on it one way or the other, but I definitely wouldn't be as irate as you seem to be about it. It's not really a big deal. So you don't do anything creepy with these? No, but I mean, even if I did, you said you don't cool enjoy wearing that, like, them. You don't enjoy wearing them. I you did. don't enjoy like. Uh, if you wore them, that would be okay. If you're doing something else with them, no, that would be okay. weird. Well, to this, me. as we always say on Hook Up or Hang Up, it is a shame-free zone, and I think yeah. we're, we're teetering on on going down some roads. And I let- just said I would be fine if he wanted to wear them. I I'm fine with that. Okay. I, I, I I don't know that it is fine. It seems like a, like it's not. It's it's a it's a lot of jelly, sir. If you would like to tell me now, I enjoy wearing women's panties. That is okay. It is not okay if you hook up with that many women, like, often, and that there's that many panties behind. That's not okay. Like, cool if that's what you want to do, but I'm not cool, like, dating some, like, male, uh, I guess I can't say hope. No, 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 let me tell you what's okay with me. Zone, though. I mean, like, I will tell you what is okay. Zone, but it's shame free. You can be you, but I don't want to be with you unless one of the following. I would be with you if you're a cross dresser and you admit it. Fine. If you just happen to like wearing women's panties, but you like getting into women's panties, that is fine. It would be fine if, like, they're like ex girlfriends who you were in meaningful relationships with and you didn't know what to do. It's not okay if you're hooking up with that many random floozies who just leave their panties behind. Like that not this okay. Is like for a me. lot. I it's okay for I you. Realize this. you. But if you want like me to be your girlfriend manual, like, this is Do you want me to be your girlfriend, yes or no? <laughs> I don't know. I think I need to finish reading the manual that you were dictating to me before I answer that question. Okay, well, you're the one who got me on the radio. Let's just remember that. I think I'm just well within my rights to ask how many partners you've had in the past. I think that's, that's well, normal. Well, not on the radio. We're not going to do that. Let's don't do this live on the radio. Nobody Let's take this counts. conversation off air. And this do you guys different. ever this... want to talk again? I am Big willing to have a discussion. Okay. If he's willing to be honest about it, I'm willing to have a discussion. Uh, I... Yeah, I guess we can talk, but I, this is a side of you I didn't know existed. So I, I, oh, well, I didn't know you had a tour of panties, so don't make me out to be the psycho. <laughs> hey. oh, I think you're doing plenty of a good job of that on your own. I wow. don't know that you need my help. Let's, let's not, This is not going to get any Let's quit while we're ahead, nicer. but I think that you guys should maybe each take like a couple days to, to chill, to process what we learned today, and then maybe you guys should, should have a meetup, public place kind of a situation. Well, no. Maybe a phone call would suffice. I'm, I mean, now he sounds like he doesn't want to talk to me anymore, so that's his, that's, that's, it's ridiculous. Hook up or hang up. Presented by Silverball Arcade Bar. With Cosmo and Lauren.